Hello everybody and uh, welcome to this video. Uh, I just want to apologize in advance uh, if the quality on this video is really bad, because I know it is, uh, but at least I hope you will enjoy the content. Uh, but anyway, uh, I just saw this uh, really nice video by Dr. Payam about something called the product derivative, which is something that he actually came up with on his own. Uh, so if you haven't seen that video yet, you definitely should check it out. It's a really nice video. It's definitely something that I've never thought about before. It's a really cool idea. I'm a huge fan of it. But I think there was something missing from that video. He didn't really clarify the uh, geometric uh, intuition for what this product derivative uh, stands for. So I wanted to do that in this video, at least show uh, my view on what this on what this really means. Uh, so um, to begin with, I, I think we should really clarify what the regular uh, derivative uh, stands for geometrically. Well, you all already know this, of course, but I, I think we should just really, really state it because the, uh, the product derivative is kind of similar in a way. Uh, so uh, you all already know that the regular derivative is just the slope of the tangent line. Um, so that just means that we can, if we have some function, if we can make a linear approximation around some point A using this formula, we just take the value of the function at that point, and then we add this derivative times the difference. And uh, ooh, this is the wrong plot. Uh, if, if we take uh, some example, we, we have this uh, function x squared and we want to make a linear approximation around x equals 1. Well, we take the value at x equals 1, which is just 1, and then we add the derivative at that point, which is 2, times x minus 1, and then we get a linear approximation of x squared around x equals 1. We, you all already know this, uh, but, but if you really think about it, what, what this means is we can take a function and this should be approximately equal to uh, like some value, and then we add this derivative times the difference. Well, this product derivative takes uh, multiplication to exponentiation, uh, and it takes addition to multiplication. So it shouldn't seem too weird to extend this uh, uh, to yeah, we should have something similar for the product derivative, which I think will look something like this. We, sh we should have, uh, we should still have uh, the value of the function, which is f of a, but instead of adding, uh, we are going to multiply by this uh, exponential, uh, no, this product uh, derivative to the power of this difference. We should remember here, we multiplied the difference, and here we instead take this derivative to the power of the difference. So remember, this will give you the best linear approximation and linear functions. Those are, they play very nice with addition. It, it's just this difference here times some number uh, and then we add some constant. And the next step after linear functions well, instead of taking this difference times some number and add some constant, it should be some constant times this diff this uh, some number to the power of the difference. So I, I think this is a really natural uh, extension. Um, and if we look at what this uh, approximation will, will look like, we can still use this function x squared and we can still do it around x equals 1. So the value of the function is still going to be 1, but instead of adding, we're going to multiply. So we can just get rid of this 1, because 1 is the multiplicative identity. And we're going to multiply by the value of the uh, product derivative at that point, which is going to be e squared. I'm not going to show the calculations now, but you can clarify this on your own. And then, oops. Uh, e squared times this x minus 1. 
and you can see this is a really good uh, approximation for uh, x squared around x equals 1. And in fact, I think this should be the best uh, exponential approximation for x squared around x equals 1. We haven't really proven anything rigorously yet, but and we're not going to do that in this video either. But uh, I think that should be the geometric intuition. It's if you zoom in around a point, it's basically, it's not uh, what that function looks like if you turn it linear. It's what it's what it looks like if you turn it into an exponential function and what what that base will be. That's the product derivative. So, so that's actually it for the uh, geometric intuition. So I could actually end the video here. But we could also go a step further because this here, it should remind you of uh, Taylor series or Taylor ap approximations. And this is also just some kind of approximation of the function, but instead it's a product, it's not a sum. And as you all know, for, for regular functions, we have this formula, which is the Taylor formula for the function. And I think we should have something similar for, uh, for the product derivative. And I think it should be this identity. Uh, and I, <laughs> I have chosen to call it the Payam-Mattahatten expansion. <laughs> well, maybe it's a good name, maybe it's not, I don't really know, but <laughs> so all I've really done is I've changed this sum here into a product, and uh, instead of uh, regular derivatives of higher orders, it's the uh, exponential derivatives of higher orders. And also, I'm not really sure if this is the best notation for uh, exponential no, uh, product derivatives of higher orders. So, sorry, maybe we should have some kind of arrow notation here to, it's not d to the power of k, it's maybe it should be d double arrow k or something. I don't really know. Uh, so, but this is just a very natural uh, extension from this formula. And I, I just want to show what, what some terms of it uh, looks like. Um, so, so we already have this uh, approximation for uh, x squared e to the power 2 x minus 1. Uh, so if we calculate the, uh, uh, the next, uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, the next term, uh, no, the next product. Uh, so uh, x squared is going to have a very cyclic pattern, which is why I chose it. Uh, I, I'm not going to show any calculations right now of the higher order uh, derivatives, but uh, what's all that's going to happen is that these signs are going to flip every time. So, so we're just uh, going to get a pattern like this. So this is uh, going to be the the next order uh, approximation in the payam mattahatten expansion. And as you see, this is a really good approximation for x squared around x equals 1. And we can go on. We can do e to the 2 x minus 1 cube, which is going to be the next. Oops, why doesn't it work? Uh, I'm not really sure why this doesn't work right now, but it should. Maybe if, yeah, okay, there we have it. Uh, so anyway, th this is the third order. Uh, Matahatten, uh, no, Paya Matahatten expansion. Anyway, this this video is getting too long. Too long. Uh, you you get the idea. But uh, that's actually all I have to say. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, so go check out Dr. Payam's video and give this video a like. Uh, and uh, yeah, thank you for watching.